Dubois and Harris in the backcourt, they can get up and down off missed shots from Air Force. Well, Coach Alford has himself a versatile squad. Uh, he's got a group nice backdoor cut, and that's what you see a lot with Air Force. They run this Princeton offense. But Miller is the leading scorer for Utah State with 13. Air Force has definitely slowed down the pace quite a bit, <laughs> but that's going to get the... When you can't defend the turnover. It's hard to defend the turnover. It's hard to get your defense set. Walker back on the floor with three fouls. Utah State coming off back-to-back -back losses. The first time that's happened in two years, 54 games where they didn't lose back-to-back. -back. They were picked first in the Mountain West in the preseason. They've got some work to do trailing San Diego State. Hair and standards, wearing a uniform properly and following and dressing pants of the Air Force. Hopefully I look good enough for you, man. Hey, oh, thank you for your service, guys. Thank you for your support. Oh, yeah, thank you. Man. Appreciate it. All thank right. you. Ryan Swan right on cue, representing the Grim Reapers of Cadet Squadron 30. Pulliam was a, you know, a kid at, on the junior college level that wasn't really highly recruited. Morris steps back. He rolls it up. Off the bench. There's a huge spark with the Falcons in foul trouble. He's got the ball with nine on the shot clock. Cut off on the baseline. Tomes on the drive. Off the glass. In the nation in total rebounds. And fourth in offensive rebounds, and he shows you why there. Scotty puts it on the deck, and he's fouled going up. Huge. He's been struggling to shoot the ball. Was two of 18 in the four conference games from behind the arc before tonight. I think you mentioned that earlier. Now he's hit two of them. Drive for Tomes. He hits threes. He posts ups. He gets isos. He gets uh, screens set for him all the time along the baseline. I mean, he is certainly a professional basketball player prospect. Joyce travel. And so an easy bucket for the Aztecs. Four minutes gone by here in the second half. Five point lead for San Diego State. This is where Air Force Academy runs a, a version of the Princeton offense. Strong take. Caleb Morris stopped him in the paint. But foul trouble has been an issue. And he'll sit on the bench here as we're inside of seven minutes to go. Walker back on the floor, playing with four fouls. Immediately to the bucket. Scotty the foul. Inbound. You, you get the feeling the Falcons are sort of running out of time here, down 16 now. Got to string together some buckets and some stops. Get it inside, it goes to Scotty. And Scotty, count it. Maybe that'll help right there. Chance at a three. Trade halftime report. Kevin, Seth, Lafonso coming up in just under a minute of game time here in Reno. Caleb Morris trying to get something going here before the halftime buzzer. 15 minute delay. I don't get cold. I can shoot. Whether it's 16 degrees in the gym or 80. He had missed his first. There's no doubt they will handle it the right way. And, uh, you know, they go home to Nevada after tonight. That's a tough one against Steve Alford's club. See the home and away splits for Air Force. They have played really well at home, averaging 86 points per game. They get two more from their Bearstow. So they're trying to take Merrill out of the game, but other guys are stepping up and knocking down shots as well. Back-to-back -back threes for Utah State. As Ben Solon flies high. LB, so there's no foul there. And Morris has been really quiet. Only has two points. Only four Falcons have scored. 12 for Scotty, 8 for Swan, 8 for Walker, and 2 for Morris. And for Morris, they've been shooting 56% to lead the Mountain West Conference. He's here in you. Robbie Robinson, easy layup, makes it 74-37. Eric Rothman, Richie Schuler here with you in Reno, Nevada. Wolfpack trying to get off a two-game losing skid, although they have not lost at home here in Mountain West play this season. For the Falcons to make it a one-possession game and get some confidence here early in the second half. Very good job of taking care of the ball overall. Had nine assists on four turnovers in the first half. They just have to tighten up their defense just a little bit more, especially with San Diego State's attempting the three. Joyce again! His I mean, that is a, a quick release. He had a kid battling a, a thumb injury to start the year. He missed a handful of games. It's on his non-shooting hand. He missed six games to be exact. 
Averages six points a game. He's right at his average here, hitting a couple of uh, threes as Antonio. Need a bucket here, five to shoot. Scotty in traffic, dishes it off to Swan. And if you haven't seen the turnover by Air Force here in the second half, but the pressure really bothered Air Force, took him by surprise early on. And, but it takes so much time off the shot clock where look how much less time there is to score. You're down to 11 seconds now, and they haven't got the ball inside the three yet. This year, the Falcons have not rallied from down at halftime. Walker, and that's going to fall. Good job by A.J. Walker, averages 12 turnovers in the second half for Air Force. Still can't get over that hump. Usually if you can break a press, nice backdoor cut. Yep, Tomes to Walker, but Coleman, great play again. The former walk-on who makes all the right plays, but there shouldn't be a wide open player in the middle of the paint that's able to get the ball so easily. That paint should be clogged up and too many hands should get deflection on it. Defensive board back out to the player of the day so far for Air Force, Chris Joyce. To Scotty. Going to see a lot of movement, a lot of cutting. And a great job getting to the bucket. And nearly be turned it over for the fourth time in a row before that Harris attempt. Under four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. See that post entry wheel? Had that consistent third option on the offensive end this year as Keaton Van Solen posting up and sealing down low. Particularly in this conference, that home and road makes a major difference in this league, unless you're San Diego State. Swan, the good seal. Well, Air Force is a veteran team. Seven of their top eight players returning from last year's squad. They finished sixth in the conference. They finished to pick eighth in the traffic and drawing contact. The 13 from the floor now, four of six from three. He's got 24 points. 13th 20 point or more game this season. Good post move. Times he served as an infantry team leader in a company land navigator station outside Camp Middleton or in Camp Middleton outside San Diego. But you know he's a high energy coach. He coached for Air Force to cut into that league. Five turnovers on Utah State. Inside the swan, he's swarmed, double team, 10 on the shot clock, and somehow gets it over. The entire bench for Air Force Academy is basically on their feet saying, no, 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 that's not the game plan. We want to stay home on the shooters. Interesting that Air Force has played a little bit more of an up-tempo start to this game. They talked about slowing it down during practice this morning, but already talking about a fairly good pace. Inside, good luck. A one possession basketball game. And I guarantee you, Air Force's Dave Pilipovich told his team in the locker room, guys, we gotta be more patient, we gotta relax, we gotta stop throwing turnovers. We're in double digit turnovers already, and just keep shooting those three pointers because eventually they're gonna fall. Utah State, though, they've gotta pump it down inside, and they've gotta do a better job of scoring inside. I am just so impressed with Air Force. They could have come in with their heads down, they had a very focused shoot around. And I'm, I'm starting to see the carryover from it. Scotty on the drive right at Wetzel. He hit it, they'll wave it off. Force zero of four for the Wolfpack. KJ Himes, the redshirt freshman from Phoenix, checks in. He was the preseason Mountain West freshman of the year, standing at six foot ten. Hasn't got a ton of playing time this year. As he took four years to really implement their program, to get their recruits in. You know, most players at this level are going to be four-year college players. They're not going to jump to the NBA or try to play professional too early. So let him get his guys in, develop the program, and with all the success Coach Alford has had, it, it, they are hoping that Nathan Mensa can come back maybe towards conference tournament time. He's been having a respiratory issue. He's been cleared to do all aerobic issues with no contact yet. And that's been one of the most underrated things about why I'm so impressed with San Diego State. They've lost some players due to Engel. 13 first half points for the junior. Here's the 2-3 matchup zone. Started out in the 2-2-1 three-quarter court press. Back to a zone. Kaya trying to take advantage. Boy, he has been aggressive. Point. We're going to get some defense from for me, the Air Force Academy or San Diego State to be able to... Inside here in the second half, he's been pinballed around, a lot of contact and no whistles. Defense trying to throw off 
the rhythm for Air, of Air Force. Look at that, wide open. That's how you break a defense, a zone defense. Get the ball right there at the high post where it's watchable at four of the first half. He was down by eight at the break and 24 in the second half. Here's San Diego State up by nine. Still going with a lot of the players off the bench. Flynn, the only starter on the floor for the Aztecs. Scotty kicks it out to the corner. It's Joyce for three. Rolls it! He was upset in the first half and almost got a technical. Now he's draining threes and smiling. So <laughs> it's a different half for him offensively. Every time it feels like Air Force is right there. They don't get a stop. Joyce, the answer! Those threes are very deflating. <laughs> when you make a three, the worst thing that can happen is you give up a three. Mitchell's got 11. Joyce with a smile on his face, staring at Flynn. Got a great screen. Hits the elbow jumper. Right, that football team that had a school record time, 11 wins this year, going to be honored at halftime here inside Clune Arena. The Cheese It Bowl victory. Joyce thought about it. Good fake, Akaya. He has had a wonderful half. Eight points. In that's, that's impressive. He's got six here in the half. Joyce fouled on the waist, and Flynn knew it. And it seems like Mitchell, they're, they're, they're looking for transfers and fifth-year guys that can come in and play right away. And again, they're trying to do something that nobody has done in the history of the Mountain West Conference, and that is go undefeated in the regular season in conference play. Forget about being undefeated overall. College before finishing his playing career at Cornell. We learned from a guy who's been to the mountaintop before. His dad, Rowdy, freshman from Prairie Village, Kansas. Mid-range jump.